What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. We got a Tackle Tip Tuesday video today for you guys. Uh, we just call it Tackle Tip Tuesday. It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with tackle. I've had numerous people ask about my camera setups. Uh, I get messages on the daily asking what I film with, how I film, all that jazz. So that's what we're going to get into today. We're going to roll the intro and check out my camera setups. <laughs> All right, guys, so first and foremost, we are, I, I, actually, let's back up. The first thing I'm going to tell you guys is you do not have to have the equipment that I have to film, okay? You don't have to do this. So the first thing I'm going to show you is what every single one of you all can start filming with. Those acorns are loud when they fall. So this is what every single one of you all can film with, and I know you have one, sitting in your pocket, a cell phone. Uh, for me, it's an iPhone. I just, I've always been an iPhone person, but your cell phone is capable of filming everything. This used to film my Tackle Tip Tuesdays. Anytime that I was on the boat, it was a cell phone that was filming all of those videos. iPhone, from the iPhone 12 Pro Max up is what I've been using to film. So the easiest way to do this with your phone is to get a stand of some kind. I used to use a DJ, uh, DJI, uh, what was that thing called? It's, it's a handheld uh, gimbal stabilizer. I'll link it down below. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's like an Osmo 3 or something like that. Uh, like a pocket Osmo pocket? No, that's what's in my hand. Never mind. I can't remember. Anyway, so go to your camera settings. Here is my camera. You guys can see it is filming me now. Here, there you go. So, what are the best settings that you wanna be using on your phone? So I don't get overly fancy with it, guys. If I'm filming on my phone, I shoot everything in 4K. The reason for that is if you're shooting in 4K, you can dumb it down. So for example, if I'm out fishing on the water and I'm shooting in 4K and there's a fish that swims by, I can zoom in in the video and you can see it better. But if you're shooting in 10K, and your max output is 10K, you zoom in, it may lose a little bit of quality. But if you are outputting in 1080 and you're filming in 4K, you have a lot more that you're able to zoom in because you have a higher quality video. So uh, all of my videos are edited and posted in 4K, so it doesn't really matter for me, but just a little tidbit for you. So as far as the phone goes, you can even edit on your phone. There's a program called LumaFusion. It is $30, and once you buy it for $30, you own it for the rest of the your life. You, they, don't, they don't charge you monthly, nothing like that. You own it. Uh, so LumaFusion is a very strong uh, cell phone editor. It, uh, let me see if I can pull up the main, well, there isn't really anything there to show you guys, but this is what the editor, editor looks like. Um, I know there's a glare on there, I'm sorry. Uh, but I was gonna show you what the logo looks like and now I have forgotten. Here we go. There there it is, in the top right there. That is the LumaFusion logo. Uh, just type it in, L-U-M-A-F-U-S-I-O-N, LumaFusion, that's all you need. You can edit directly in there, you can do slow-mo and stuff like that with it. So, with that out of the way, now on to my editing equipment. I swear, if one of those acorns hit me in the head, it would probably hurt pretty bad. So, onto the editing equipment that I actually use. I'm gonna do this with my phone so that I can actually show you. I edit with what is called a DJI Osmo Pocket 3, I believe, it, or this is the 4 maybe. If you can see it right there, it is a self-standing gimbal. So if I move over here, the head moves with me. Now, I film all of my Tuesday videos on this, all of my intros and outros on this, and any B-roll that you all see me shoot is on this, because I can shoot in 4K, is it 240 or 4K 120? I think it's 4K 120. So that creates very good slow-mo with the gimbal on there. It's smooth, it looks really good. Uh, there's also a little lens that comes on it that gives you a 0.5, it kind of makes a little more of a fisheye lens to it. Uh, and then I'm filming in a normal 4K 60. So the, the, the gimbal itself has a controller on it 
that moves the cam so I can actually move the camera with the gimbal without me moving. And then I can just tap it and it comes back center. So the problem with that now is you don't see my face anymore. So I can touch my face on the touch screen and it brings you back up to the active track and it follows my face wherever I go. So a very, very cool piece of equipment that I didn't think I needed for a long time. Uh, I first saw this when I was uh, on the Bassmaster Elite series working with some of those guys and one of the... Um, one of the Japanese cameramen, I believe he has something to do with Texas World as well. He does a lot with uh, Koya Fujita and um, I forgot the other guy's name. Anyway, he I saw him with one and I thought that's kind of it's kind of funny looking. So I did more research. I really like it. So besides that, uh, let's talk computer. I'm gonna get to the action cameras in just a second. Don't worry, guys. Computer. I edit on a MacBook Pro uh, laptop. That's just kind of what I've always edited on. And I run external hard drives. Uh, it's very important to have a very, very, very high quality external hard drive to keep all your stuff on because you can edit directly off of it and you don't put the, um, the footage on the hard drive on the computer and that's gonna bog that computer down eventually. So if you put it on the external hard drive, you just buy another external hard drive when it's full. Or in my case, I have two 32 terabyte servers that uh, my work gives me for when I'm editing for my pros. So if you got real money, you can get one of those and uh, I've never edited on anything like those, y'all. Let me tell you, when I'm doing Lose and Strike King videos for my pros, those things are crazy. A 32 terabyte server, they are powerful. Uh, I don't even notice a difference going from the server versus editing off the hard drive of the computer. It's insane. So that's the computer. Now let's get into the juice of it. The action cameras. I know that's what majority of people want to know. Action camera, action camera, action camera. So the front view that you guys see the most of, because I don't wear my chesty a whole heck of a lot. Uh, the front view, I had to uh, I had to install a, uh, a custom port up front because my Falcon didn't come with a port up front because I got lights built into the rub rails. So I had to install a custom port up there. Uh, not a big deal, very easy to do. And then I run a Kayak Yolo Tech. This is a Yolotech power stick. Uh, this is the kayak version. I believe it is 20, 21 or 26 inches. I can't remember the exact size of it, but it has two, oh, 20 inches right there on the side, stupid. Uh, power stick, 20 inch Gen 4. It has two power connectors here, USB. You can see the top one here I'm using. And then there's another one here. The reason for that is they make a custom mount that you can put two cameras on and create a 360 effect with. I don't do that, but you can. So the camera, you guys know, I I was very, very, very high on GoPro for a very long time. Well, GoPro did me dirty. Uh, I had four of their GoPro Hero 8s. All four of them started having battery issues and wouldn't record anymore. And because I paid cash with them, I didn't keep the receipt. I didn't think anything about it. They said, mm, well, that sucks for you. Okay. Well, that sucks for you guys. I'm not using GoPro anymore. So we have got DJI. Uh, these are the DJI Action 4s. Uh, the, they are very, very powerful little cameras. It has an F 2.8 on the lens. I, and I, I'm sorry to talk a lot of techie stuff. Guys, you got to remember, this is what I went to college for. Uh, I majored in mass media video production. I minored in photography. So like this is this is up my alley. Uh, I, I'm very techie when it comes to this stuff. Uh, just kind of how I am. These cameras, in my personal opinion, are the best action camera on the market. Uh, I am in no way affiliated with DJI. I don't even have a code that I can give you guys to try to get you a discount on them. I pay retail for these. I pay the full $500 for each one of these suckers because I trust them. I believe in them. These are the best action cameras out there. They don't overheat. Uh, my GoPros, if you I don't know if everybody will remember, but I had to build these stupid little housings for them to keep the sun off of because they were overheating so easily. These do not overheat easily. Um, I am in Northeast Tennessee and I fish all summer. I've never had one of these overheat. Now, with that being said, they are a wind cooled camera, meaning that they create a uh, current in there to try to keep them cool. So if there's no wind where you're fishing, they're, they're gonna get hot. Uh, so uh, Tristan and Dakota were in Oklahoma 
uh, I don't remember, it was during the summer, and Tristan told me, he said, it's hotter than hell out here, and he had a camera overheat, because there was no wind flow, there was no wind at all to keep these things cooled, uh, so with that being said, if you live somewhere like that, they do make a cooling unit for these that just clips onto it, and it creates a, uh, creates a current to keep them cool. I know, a bunch of extra stuff, but just in case, they at least make it, unlike GoPro. So, this is the front camera. <clears throat> Sorry. This is front camera. This is what you all see majority of the time. Like, when I'm when I'm going down the water and stuff, you see me sitting in the boat, you see the back of my motor, that's the camera that you're seeing. Now, the chesty. We've got another DJI Action 4. Is it Action 4? Yeah, Action 4. I can't remember 4 from 3. This is the DJI Action 4. Exact same camera as the one I just showed you. No difference. Now, this is a chesty. You guys know, everybody pretty much knows how chesties work. It just, you know, goes on like this, comes around your shoulders, and then clips in like that, and boom, sits on your chest. I don't use a chesty very often. Uh, I get hot very easily, and uh, I just don't really like wearing them much, but I'm going to try to start using them more. So, the number one question that I get asked about the chesty, how do you keep it powered? Well, gosh almighty, you have got to get a battery bank. Now, there are di all kinds of different battery banks on the market. Uh, this is how I have found works best because this will power it for, uh, if, if my DJI has a full battery and this is full, it'll power it for about 12 hours. There are other ones that will clip onto the mount and then the GoPro clips on top of it. They're only good for like seven hours. I, you know, I fish for a long time. I want, I don't want to fool with this. I want it to just run itself. So I actually got this from Walmart. I believe I got this from Walmart for $29.99 back like two or three years ago. Uh, I mean, it's pretty old. I was still using GoPros when I originally bought this. Um, but it keeps it powered up. It charges with a USB-C charger. And then uh, you can actually, oh no, this one is dead. I used it. Hase, it holds a charge for a really long time, but I forgot. I did actually use this. Uh, but the camera is still charged, so. Oh, it's actually charging it, so there you go. So you can see up in the top left-hand corner here, it's a green uh, battery icon, which means this battery pack is charging the camera to keep it completely charged up. Now, in order to do this, you will have to take the door off. By taking that door off, you need to get some of this putty like this. It's Yes, it looks very dirty because it is very dirty, but uh, Yolo Tech has this putty. Like when you buy the Yolo Tech stick, they give you a couple, uh, they used to give you a couple things of putty. I haven't actually bought a new stick. I've had that stick for like four years. No, I had the big one for like four years. I don't remember how long I've had that. But anyway, I'm pretty sure it still comes with um, some of those little putty packs. So you just take the putty out, roll it together, roll it around that, and it's waterproof. Uh, so no water gets in there and messes up your cameras. So. Um, the only other camera that I have used in the past, and I know a lot of people were like, that is really nice. It's my, uh, Canon R5. It's a very, 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 very expensive camera. Um, I don't know what they go for now. Back when I first, I got it as soon as it came out and the camera in the lens cost me 10 grand. So I don't like bringing it out much anymore. Um, even when I'm filming with Tristan, I don't bring it out anymore. I use my DJI Osmo Pocket for everything. Um, it's The DJI Osmo Pocket has a little microphone. If you ever see that little black box, I don't have mine on. I don't know why I'm not wearing it, uh, but that's what that is, is a microphone and it's good for like 150 feet. So it's a really nice all around camera setup. Uh, you know, it's just easy to use and this is convenient. It's not heavy. It's a very lightweight, easy to move around camera. So that's why I use this one so much. So, all right guys, that is it for my camera setups. If there is anything that I didn't go over, feel free to ask down here below. I think I covered everything. I'm looking around my boat. Uh, I, 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 do, I do occasionally run a back camera. It's just on the full-size YOLO tech stick with yet again another DJI Action 4. I run no cameras besides a DJI anymore. Um, we are going to be adding a couple more camera angles. Um, we have a possibility of adding a motor mount um, camera. And then Cody from Glow Up Detailing and I are going to work on some kind of a dash mount. Um, 
Scott Martin has one that I really like. Uh, McCoy, his cameraman, and I have talked about it at uh, one of the Bassmaster Open events. We were talking about it. I really like that, the way their camera is set up over there. But the difference is, is their graph mount uh, has this really long tube on it that they mount it to. So I have to figure out how I'm going to do mine over there. But I really like it. At, at one point, if you'll go back and look at um, a White Pine Cherokee Lake event earlier this year, there's actually a camera angle that I ran it for a little while. And it worked fine as long as the chop didn't get over six inches of chop on the water. Because as soon as it got rough, it started bouncing and I actually broke it off. So I, I haven't really gone back to that just yet, but we're working on that. So guys, if y'all like these videos, give me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. And let me know where you're watching from guys. Any questions that you have on the camera setups, computer. Oh, editing software is Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I have the whole uh, Adobe suite. That's what I use. If you have any questions whatsoever, guys, feel free to ask away. Leave me a comment down there, or you can mess with me on any of my uh, social media platforms, guys. Y'all have a great one. If you ever see me out on the water, come say hey. Take care, guys.